we are 1.3 billion uh, now in 2022 if we have millions of people with cancer how do we deal with this issue do our policy makers not realize the enormity of this because see a lot of pollution related things can be handled like i when i went to uh, uh, when we our teams are going to punjab every time covering this thing you talk to any uh, chief minister your uh, anybody has handling health agriculture किसान से कौन कुछ बोलेगा और अपने व्हीकल्स बंद करो स्टॉप द व्हीकुलर पोल्यूशन वाई डू यू गो टू द फार्मर यू आर एंटी फार्मर इफ यू टॉक टू द व्हीकल मैनुफैक्चर यू आर एंटी इंडस्ट्री हाउ डू वी डील विद दिस क्राइसिस सो माय एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव हैड ओकेजन्स टू इंटरेक्ट विद ऑल दीज सेगमेंट्स ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम डिसीशन मेकर्स पॉलिटिशियंस ब्यूरोक्रैट्स जर्नलिस्ट स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन प्रिंसिपल्स civil society police people because we've been addressing everybody uh, we've even gone to parliamentarians we had a meeting with parliamentarians i gave them a picture of a normal pink lung and a lung of a non smoker delhiite where there were a lot of black black deposits and they showed it in the parliament also all that has happened so these people are aware when you say they all agree yes something needs to be done but the thing is that somehow that awareness is not converting into the immediate and massive actions which need to be taken the urgency of situation somehow has not dawned on them what is the it's solution it's a medical emergency if we don't set it right today we are endangering the lives of our children for me it's a medical emergency everything else can stop we need to go and fix this problem that kind of an emergency or urgency and a desire to take instant action with instant results that's not there What? if we take actions which are likely to give their results in 15 20 Too years late. time a whole generation would have suffered morbidity mortality because of this problem doc so what is the solution uh, it it can't be one solution no, right it's no, not mask pano no. it's not in, you know uh, give you inoculation no, it's not that no so priorities have to be set right first rule is that anyone who says that i let pollution happen and then take measures to clean the polluted air he does not know even the basics or a b c d hmm. so smog towers whoever is proposing them they've been put up with fanfare in the city of delhi they are a huge waste colossal waste of public money really? no country in the world has solved its air pollution problem by putting smog towers so this is a farce total farce hmm. colossal waste of precious public money that's number 1 number 2 it's a public problem air purifiers masks etc etc are knee jerk reactions personal solutions to what is basically a public problem we've done it with electricity when electricity was not there instead generators. of fixing we went for inverters and generators that was the right. first time we sought a private solution to a public problem second time we did it with water Hmm. when the supply was not good we started carrying our private bottles private. unfortunately there is an attempt to do the same with air also people don't realize you can be without water for 5 days you can be without electricity for n number of days you can't be without air for more than 2 minutes and you cannot carry your own air i'm sitting in your studio i'm breathing the air can i bring my air curtain from my house and say oh i'm safe with this air curtain no so the solution lies in cleaning the air across the country and not putting these wastage of smog towers which are all social so this is the first realization which has to come solution lies in addressing the sources hmm. that's number 1 sources are many so vehicles are a big source parali unfortunately is given a huge amount of attention hmm. but i would like to clarify that it's something which happens a certain part of the year contributes a certain quota during this part and if you take totality of the picture its contribution to a total 
is actually a much smaller segment okay. than the attention that is given to it. So, so a lot of pollution is coming from vehicles. Huge amount of pollution is coming from coal-fired power plants. Okay. They are the biggest problem. Hmm. They need to have devices fixed to reduce the emissions from them. And this was something which Ministry of Environment took it up on its own, CO Moto, about five years back mm. and fixed very rigid norms for all of them to implement in a certain time frame, which was a beautiful welcome step. Unfortunately, since then, that deadline has been deferred three times and now stands deferred to 2025 mm. for reasons which I need not spell out here. Okay. Where are these located mostly? Across the country. Across the country, right. So, if so, electric vehicles are a wonderful welcome step. Mm -hmm. But mind you, electric vehicle needs electricity to charge it. Right. And if that electricity is, is from a coal plant, from a coal plant, you are addressing the problem only half of it. Mm. So, we have to address it in totality. People have to understand it. People have to cooperate also. It's not that you can only blame the government. It is a problem caused by everybody and it is a problem which will be solved by the participation of everybody. But who will do it? Making like rules alone is not the answer. You know, Supreme Court passed the order about cracker burning two years back. I was also involved in, in that. I used to go for the hearings and all. But people violated that. There were people who made videos and showed that, look, it's past 10 o'clock, I'm burning cracker, do what you can. What are you trying to prove? Supreme Court is not passing its order for its sake, it's passing order for everybody's sake.